The question of inverse spectral geometry is, can one deduce the shape of an object from the sound this object makes? For instance, imagine that I have an unusually shaped drum. Would you be able to guess its shape simply from its sound without even seeing the drum? I find that this idea is most easily made clear by dissecting the term inverse spectral geometry word by word starting from geometry. So by geometry I will mean study of shapes in a very broad sense. So you may think of shapes of drums, shapes, shapes of some strange surfaces, or if you want to be really, really exotic, shape of space-time itself. Now, imagine that this shape is allowed to vibrate. Vibrations of drums are, of course, vibrations of the membrane of the drum, the thing that produces the sound. For space and time, one might think of light waves as vibration of space and time. In any case, those vibrations will be characterized by a set of numbers called resonant frequencies, which are the natural frequencies of vibration of the shape. And the set of all those frequencies is called the spectrum of the shape. And direct spectral geometry studies how to compute the spectrum given an object. Now, inverse spectral geometry attempts to the opposite. Given a spectrum, it tries to uniquely identify an object that has this spectrum. Effectively, its goal is to replace the complicated description of all those shapes by a much more manageable description of sequences of numbers that are spectra. And those spectra encode geometric information in an essential way. It is independent of any perspective we take. It is independent of any arbitrary choice our feeble human minds make when describing shape. Now, this idea has multiple applications. One of them is, for instance, shape recognition. Comparing two shapes might be hard, but if one is allowed to equivalently compare two sequences of number, they, their, their spectra, this becomes much more manageable. I, however, am more interested in applications of this idea to theoretical physics, specifically to the field of quantum gravity, which is the unification of the general theory of relativity, which is a theory of gravity, with quantum theory, which is the theory of small things. And this unification is the most important unsolved problem in modern theoretical physics. And this field would benefit from a mathematical tool that allows to describe the shapes of space and time in a manner that is manageable and is independent of any perspective one would take. And this, I believe that inverse spectral geometry, by describing the shapes as sequences of numbers, as spectra, can allow for such a description. And this is what I'm working on.